time faded away. I can't tell you if it existed, but the pressure mounted and the inescapability of whatever was going to come only became more evident. I closed my eyes and images started to flash, in such rapid succession that I can only describe it as though I was seeing the history of the written word, dating back to the Bible, at first watching the very scenes of the Bible itself, I'm talking prairie fields and people walking, and animals, and savannas, I don't know fucking how either because I've never even read the Bible, but I thought that this is what I was watching, I was watching the Bible happen, I was watching it through time. Fast forwarding from one story to the other, I could write these down and share it with the world and then, yes. That's exactly what happened. A man in a wooden room, wooden planks underfoot, a small cabin but almost apartment-like. There were others in the same building but it was old and all wooden and he lived with his son, no wife. I don't know where the wife was but someone was coming. It was evident that someone was coming and not someone that he wanted to come. Someone coming to get him, to take him away, to steal him, an inquisition of sorts. I don't know why. He held his son close and reassured him that everything would be okay, but that finally the time had come. They were coming, and so he grabbed this book, some book, and lifted up the floorboards, the main floorboard in the middle of the room, and shoved the book down under it, underneath the floorboards. And then it fell back down, and in an instant I knew that this man had been bullied his whole life. He was small and kind with a shifted beard, looked like any normal working average man, but when he was a kid he'd been bullied, bullied into thinking that he was nothing, that he wasn't special, that he couldn't accomplish anything great. He'd grown un- able to express his confidence in person, but he never forgot it in reality. And so he had devoted his whole life to his book, to whatever it was, to formulating a document by which he could help and impact and save the world. And this book I knew was the Bible. That when the man came, the door opened and the yellow light behind him shined through. That when he got pulled with arms around his waist as he fought to stay inside, as his kids stood there watching him and his struggling face and the arms wrapped and pulling around his waist, the figures of the Inquisition, their police officers behind them, and me somehow floating behind and above the kid watching, I knew that this house would crumble. This man's life would crumble and go on like everyone else's. The kids to fight another day and crawl out and up through the existence of being an orphan that so many others have to. And the man on to be in prison for God knows what, for treason, that this was the life of anyone, the life of a normal person subjected to the normal tyrannies and struggles of any human on earth, but that this book, after the family crumbled, after the house crumbled and the wooden slats turned to a rocky sand that imprisoned the book beneath, that someone, the crusaders of the future village that would conquer this place would find this book, this book beneath the slats and read it, and read it thus with open eyes, realizing that this book was the answer, that this book was the Bible. I saw all this with the clearest of eyes, watched it from above and behind and discovered the truth that the Bible was written. It was written by man, not by God, but by a man with motivations, with hopes and dreams, with traumas and realities, with a life that perhaps had been bullied and a burning desire to prove all those people wrong, to truly impact the world in a positive way just about how he'd been treated, that someone had found it and read it and shared it with others and read it together and interpreted it as a group and that interpretation over the years had changed and changed and changed and become sculpted with the politics of the time to appease the leaders of the time, that the book itself had become almost a doctrine of humanity not in its words but in its formations, in the different ways it changed and lost its truth and took on a new one, a false one, that became a real one with time, that the story of the Bible is not the story of the Bible but the story of its adaptations and fame and how it's grown and why and with whom it has impacted. And that it all started with a man who wanted to prove the world wrong, just like me or any of us. A man that had nearly nothing to his name in terms of a success, a shitty job, but a family and kid to share it with. Who had lost his wife to the plague and now lived alone supporting his son. And had been taken away on suspicion of writing documents that were to dissuade the public from blind faith in their government. This is how it started and this is what I saw. Fuck. Fuck.